My God, I hate drugs. I am happy that almost all of the projects are uh, completed, utilized, and the others are uh, about to be finished, uh, ongoing. And I hope that uh, by the end of my term, which is just about seven months away, uh, that was also my paradigm when I was uh, city mayor of Davao. Sinabi ko sa kanila na I want all projects completed when I go out of the office. Uh, dito, uh, Art Tugade approximated the expectations na matapos lahat or almost lahat. So, masaya ako kasi if there is one worker of government na talagang nasa puso ang trabaho, uh, one of them is Arthur. To God. You, you know, I natatawa ako because we are lawyers. As a matter of fact, uh, we are not builders, neither architects nor engineers. Si Art was my classmate sa law school. He was a valedictorian. Uh, but by the time that he was uh, ready to maybe write for everything in Clark. One day napunta ako, napadaan ako at sinabi ko, Art, kung manalo ako, pwede mo akong tulungan. So, I got him into the department and uh, nakikita naman ninyo ngayon. So, you need not really be I said, a builder of infrastructures. It's, it's, it's in the heart. It's in the drive motivation of a person. And he talks uh, so extemporaneous and does not know how to finish his speech uh, every time. But uh, <laughs> he was the captain of the debating team of the San Beda College. Don Kamigaling Bing. It is my pleasure to join you on the simultaneous inauguration of the Sambuanga Port Expansion Project and the 143 other completed social and tourism ports across the country. I acknowledge the strong efforts of the Department of Transportation and the Philippine Ports Authority in leading the construction, rehabilitation, and expansion of our ports, which certainly improve the connectivity and mobility of our people. These are indeed milestones under the government's build, build, build program. The completion of these projects will boost inclusive growth for various industries in our provinces, especially for the shipping, fishing, and tourism sectors. Also, with more employment to be generated for various localities, we can now look forward to a stronger econo economy and the improved lives for our people under the new normal. I'm also glad to join the inspection of the Samwanga International Airport Development Project. Again, I thank the DOTR Department along with the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines and other public and private partners for a commendable job in the improvement of Samwanga Airport. I am excited to see a revitalized socio-economic activity that this newly enhanced project 
will support not only for the Sambanga, but also for the rest of Mindanao. As my term nears its end, let me emphasize, even with all the difficulties posed by the pandemic, this administration will continue to implement vital infrastructure projects to improve the lives of the Filipinos. We remain committed in pursuing sustainable development projects that will benefit all our Kababayans even beyond 2022. Again, I thank and congratulate everyone involved in these projects, successful projects. I end by saying, may isa pa. You know, before I say my goodbye, the profuse, uh, ano, everywhere, mapunta ako itong mga project na ito, kasi pinangako ko ito sa tao. Uh, when I was running, and during the elections, Kung matandaan ninyo, I only promised five. I said I will try to try to uh, eliminate or finish all shabu shabu industry. Uh, paningin ko hindi ko man talaga natapos because every minute there is a stupid guy around to do again the and uh, I said uh, I also take care of yung law and order tama gabing uh, there's a heavy concentration of uh, the armed forces of the Philippines and the PNP here in Mindanao, especially in this area. Because uh, I believe that no development or progress can ever, ever happen if there is no law and order. Yan talaga ang totoo. Yan ang nakita ako sa siyudad ko. Kaya ako, uh, let me just uh, give me about three minutes. Uh, yung bunga nga ako, bastos, tapos yung iba hindi nila nagustuhan. Now, uh, itong International Court of uh, Criminal Courts, gusto akong ipakulong ng mga gago. Hindi lang ako makamura dito kasi nandiyan si Beng. Um, behave ako. You know, I am a Filipino. If there is somebody who will prosecute me, it should be the Philippine Prosecution Service, where I was a member, prosecutor ako for nine years before becoming vice mayor and mayor. Kung magharap lang naman ako ng tribunal, it should be before a Philippine court. And kung ipakulong ako, gusto ko Pilipino na huwes ang magpakulong sa akin. Kung may nakita siya, uh, mali. At kung magpakulong ako, Hindi ako, mag, hindi ako magpakulong sa baski saan. Sabi nila, yung makulungan nila parang hotel. Eh, dito ako sa Munting Lupa at ipatapos ko yung mga tato ko dito sa kamay. Meron ako dito eh. May bulaklak ako dito sa... Yan ang ginagamit ko pag uh, maglade ako sa... Oh, no. We start to flirt. Pina, pinagyayabang ko yung tato ko. You know, and ganito yan. 
do not destroy my country. Bagbaha ka ng drugs. Do not kill or destroy the life of our children. Kasi ako pati yan si Art. We are glad and thankful that galing kami sa mahirap. Kasi spisaya pa makabot na mo we can fathom isang tingin lang alam ko na kung ano ang gusto ng tao. And I can smell a rat a mile away. Kaya siguro yung drive ni Art it's because uh, nangako kami hindi eh, tinapos namin kaya yung mga droga nangako ako putang, tatapusin talaga kita kasi do not destroy my country and who can find a fault in that statement ako, basta baya na ibang usapan na yan. I need not really be civil about it. Talking about it. Yan ang sabi ko nga lahat naman halos pati yung mga you know, half of my cabinet are all mil- retired military officers. Puro galing sa baba rin yan sa buhay. Kaya maganda ang samahan namin. And I'm always mindful of what I promise. Lilima lang. Drugs, ang go problema talaga noon. Pinagpapatay yung mga tao dyan sa daan. Hold up dito, hold up doon. Law and order. I will never tolerate. I will never tolerate yung mga terrorism pati yan. I, 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 I hope that uh, it, I will not be put to test uh, during my term. Ayaw ko talaga. And I'm reminded of Marawi. So we, go, we, we will not stop until all of them are eliminated. Hindi talaga ako papayag ng style ng gano'n. That is why I'm also here to talk about Elkak in, a, in a, another crowd. Itong mga komunista, wala nang ginawa for 40, no, 53 years. Wala nang ginawa kung hindi sirain ang buhay ng Pilipino. Galit ako sa kanila. I tried talking to them. Over the objections of the military and the police, nagkuha ako ng mga komunista, nilagay ko sa cabinet. Although we had a falling out later on. Sabi na siya to God. Because I wanted to show sincerity. Sige, mag-usap tayo dito. Tatlong kabinete, puro komunista. Eh, walang ginawa. Yung pera sa opisina nila, napupunta doon sa kabila. E, tinanggal ko lahat. Sabi ko, I tried. E, sabi ko sa military noon, medyo pagparilis ko, ayaw nila. Yung champion spouses, pinarilis ko, ngayon, hindi na namin makita. Just to show good faith. Yun ang dyan. Sabi ko sa kanila, uh, military pati po. Give me a chance to solve this problem. And I failed because ayaw nila. Ito mga komunist, ayaw. When you start talking about a coalition government, that, that is stupid. How can you participate in a government? All are chosen by the people. And the people who are not elected 
they are appointed by the duly constituted authorities. So yan ang gusto kong idagdag. Uh, ayaw nila, hindi mo. Away tayo. But I said my term is nearing its end. Uh, I can say with the uh, with a little bit of pride na halos si lahat na pinangako ko na tupad ko. Uh, dito na lang sa peace and order na but you know for as long as there are men in this planet there will always be misdeeds and wrongdoings committed by human beings. Be that as it may, I tried my best. And, uh, hindi ko naman sabihin na, no, pero mukhang nakompleto ko halos lahat ng pinangako ko sa taong bahay. Salamat. <laughs>